today. I'm going to demonstrate how to convert any to d logo into a 3D logo. Go to the layer of the logo you want to convert into 3D. Now, go to the 3D layer panel on top and select new 3D extrusion from selected layer. Now, go to the 3D layer panel and double click on the mesh layer. Layer with the star icon. Now, I'm going to uncheck cast shadow and catch shadow. Now, I'm going to the deform panel and change the extrusion depth value to 200 pixels. Now, I'm going to the coordinate panel to show you. Our work is almost finished. You can see that we have a 3D logo now. Now, let's navigate back to the 3D layer panel. We need to identify which layer has the front texture. To do this, I'll hide each layer one by one and observe which layer disappears, thereby identifying the front texture layer. Now, double click on the layer and select the eye catching material of your choice. I'm going with fabric material, but this is not essential as we don't need any texture for this layer. Now, I'm going to click on this icon to change the front texture. We need to add a clean logo for it, instead of selecting a new texture. We can easily replace the texture by selecting the new texture and export the PNG file. However, I'm going to demonstrate the more complex method. Now, I'm going to select the document type as custom. This will open a new window. Now, I'll go to place embedded and select the logo. Now, hold CTRL plus S or Command plus S on Mac to save the file. Now, you can see that it's too small. Again, I'm going to the custom document window and adjust the size. Now, hold CTRL plus S or Command plus S on Mac to save the file. I'm satisfied with this. Now, I'm going to the 3D layer panel and adjust some settings for better results. I'll reduce the height value to zero. Again, go to the 3D layer panel and identify the size of the 3D layer. I'll hide each layer to identify it. Now, double click on it and proceed to change the colors. I'll use the base color and interior color same as the Photoshop logo by using the eyedropper tool. Now, I'm going to do some fine tuning by adjusting these settings. That's it. I hope you like this video.